Extreme Trends presents A Repairman Unearths a Chilling Sight in an Ice Cream Shop Basement That Sends Him Straight to the Police Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. We all scream for ice cream. Who in their right mind could say no to the irresistible taste of ice cream? Ice cream is America's second most favorite dessert. According to a 1997 Nielsen survey, the invention of ice cream can be traced back to the 4th century BC, but was never really discovered until the 1600s. Ice cream is normally sold in ice cream parlors, which are nostalgic places that can help even the most stressed out adult take a deep breath and savor the simpler things in life. But just because your local ice cream shop makes you feel like a kid doesn't mean it's as innocent as your childhood might have been. If you look beyond the freezers and the friendly attendants, you might spot something dark lurking beneath the surface. When one ice cream shop in Austria needed a few pipes replaced, the secret they uncovered left them with a deeper chill than any of the icy treats on display could. The day the pipes burst at Schleckeria, an ice cream shop in downtown Vienna, Austria, no one was surprised. When the shop opened 50 years earlier, it was run by a husband and wife. Now the shop was owned by someone new, a 30-year-old woman named Estibeles Carranza, and it was in need of some serious renovations because the shop had not seen any improvements for decades. Strangely, she had a degree in business and knew it was necessary. She didn't seem that interested in making them, but then, before the pipes burst, she called the repairman. When the repairmen arrived, they headed to the basement and quickly began their work. However, it wasn't long before they noticed some unusual patches of uneven concrete on the basement floor. The repairmen shrugged it off and began digging until their shovel hit something. It was a freezer filled with disembodied remains of two different human beings. They called the police and reported what they found. The police didn't take long to find the culprit. Estibeles was their number one suspect, but she fled the country for Italy, but was quickly extradited back to Austria for questioning. When she was finally apprehended and back on Austrian ground, the police made another shocking discovery. Estibeles was three months pregnant, but then she had no intention of hiding a single detail about the crimes that she was implicated in. Estibeles admitted to both killings and identified the corpses as those of her ex-husband and an ex-boyfriend. The media dubbed her Ice Lady, not just because of her connection to the ice cream shop, but because of how cold-blooded the murders and dismemberments were. The police asked her to explain why she killed both men, and she answered readily. She killed her ex-husband, Holger Holtz, because he was a lazy slob who flat out refused to move out of the apartment above the ice cream shop where they both lived. His refusal to her way of thinking left her with no choice other than murder. Around 3 p.m. one afternoon while he was using the computer, she approached him quietly from behind and shot him in the back of the head, execution style. She wanted to get rid of his body immediately, but an employee at the ice cream shop downstairs called her cell phone about a problem with a customer. Instead, she waited until late that night to dismember Holger's body with a chainsaw using the sound of the running ice cream machine to drown out the din. While on the other hand, she killed her boyfriend Manfred Hinterberger after a drunken fight about his alleged infidelity. She revealed that she'd been planning the crime for ages, even taking classes in shooting and concrete mixing. According to Estibeles, Manfred got in bed after their fight and turned away from her. Almost immediately he began snoring, and this was the straw that broke her. She got up, shot Manfred in the head, leaving him to die in the bed while she spent the night sleeping soundly on the sofa. With her confession given, next came the trial. Petra Frey, the prosecuting attorney, described Estibeles as a highly dangerous woman ready to do anything. She claimed that Estibeles hid her true nature behind a mask of innocence. Estibeles was ultimately sentenced to life spent in a mental hospital. The doctors there described her state, remarking that she thought of herself as a princess who wants to be rescued by a prince. She found that prince in a man she met while imprisoned, whom she later married at the hospital. She also went on to write a book about her crimes, where she explained that her murders weren't as cold-blooded as they seemed. In fact, she claimed that murder was the only way out of two relationships that were very abusive. No matter what explanation she had to give, we still cannot deny the fact that it's not right to murder someone just because of a shallow reason. There's always a proper and legal way of doing it, rather than wasting our lives and ending their lives. We should all realize not to be aggressive and always think before acting. As what they always say, do not make promises when you're happy, and do not make decisions when you're angry. Thanks for watching until the end. Be sure to tap on the next videos for more bone-chilling stories.